So I guess this is where virology borders to some extent on epidemiology sure, as well, absolutely. right? I mean, so, so not only is the biology of the virus important, I assume that that also dictates a great deal about the way it's likely to spread. Can we make predictions from knowing the biology of a virus as to what the likelihood of it is going to be to spread? Well, I mean, I assume... You know, we have learned, certainly, and I, the example I like to bring up is HIV, which we are quite sure originated as simian immunodeficiency virus and jumped from a monkey to a human in Cameroon in the 1920s. Hmm. And this virus insidiously spread throughout the human population, first in Africa and then the rest of the world, and we didn't know it until the 1980s. And today, we now know to watch out for simian immunodeficiency viruses and look for them entering a new one to enter the human population and be prepared for it. But we, we really can't predict uh, which viruses are going to be successful. Yeah. We can just be vigilant and pick them up quickly. And I think we've been pretty good at picking them up. In, in Brazil, very early in 2015, uh, Zika was detected. Uh, we didn't do anything because we didn't know the import of it at the time. Right. But we're getting better and better at doing it. And that's the epidemiology component of what you're talking yeah. about, for sure. So presumably then things like travel and trade and all the rest of that are a pathway for these no, guys to spread around. I mean, right? tra world travel, the world is a small place. and You can go around it very quickly and carry infections with you. Mosquitoes have even been shown to take plane trips and go elsewhere, and it's a shame because they don't even pay to get on. <laughs> but you know, a mosquito may yes. have come from Israel to New York in 1999 and introduced West Nile virus. Huh. So you know, you can look at a virus and say, all right, we know that this is a mosquito spread virus, and to do that, you need to trap mosquitoes and show that the virus is present in them, mm -hmm. and then you can make some predictions about it's how don't it's worry. going to spread in people. You know, we have very few general mechanisms of virus spreading. We have respiratory, gastrointestinal, we have sexual transmission, uh, and we have mosquito-borne transmission. And then everything else is kind of a subset of all of those. So you would think we should be able to handle this relatively small number of transmission pathways, but we can't. Mm -hmm. And as, as I said earlier, you give me a genome, I can't tell you yeah, which yeah, way it's going to spread. Gonna go. So, so we have any idea why Zika does what it does now? I mean, where, where, how it, so, so you're, you're, what you're saying, or what you said earlier was that this is a virus now that crosses the placenta, which I gather you thought